Hey guys, welcome back to Sparrow Heroes Tale. Today we're going to Dragonfly Falls. In my let's play and guide of a Sparrow Heroes Tale. So we've got 10 light gems now. Uh, total we have 15. Hilarious. Spyro, just step onto the pad and activate it and the ball gadget will materialize. No, just please continue with your antics. I like your jokes and references. And misnomers. Because you don't know what things are called. This is called the ball gadget. I mean, that's not too complicated, is it, Professor? Must not be complicated enough because other games have done the exact same thing. Most notably, uh, Crash. Crash did this with the Atmosphere. I'm sure there's some other game out there that's probably done some sort of hamster ball like gameplay. Maybe a game with actual hamsters in it. Wait, <laughs> I think that exists actually. It's it's uh, based off of the Disney movie. Yeah, the L button actually breaks this thing. You can easily not fall off a ledge, maybe. R boosts as well. Just collected two yellow gems in this area, so those are worth 25, I believe. I like how these make a sound like pinball or something. <laughs> no, there is no pinball based mini game for Spyro a Hero's Tale. These don't make a sound though. These turn styles. Do you want to stay in the ball gadget? Select no to exit. Okay, you could have just said select exit. Question, question mark, exit, yes or no. always confusing for me. <laughs> this is like... I'll take your wording, but you could have done that differently. It's like a trick. It's like, are you trying to fool me? Clearly, this is the main... the main... Uh, event here, not the ball gadget, which is kind of unfortunate. So maybe they try to get, keep you in the ball gadget longer. Nice close-up shot, Sparrow, but we're trying to break things here. Like this wall. <laughs> and these bats. I'm gonna break them. 
Those are actually enemies. And like the brown bats we saw in Crocodile Swamp, they actually give us a butterfly. They're fodder. Big difference between the two. I guess one of them is more of a vampire bat. Because they are black, after all. I think vamp... All, all sorts of bats are usually, uh... They got fur on them. You know? Vampire bats... Wings are probably not fur. But. They're not like the bats from the first Sparrow game. Which more or less... Actually, they showed up in uh, Into the Dragonfly. When we played that, they were they were in that game. Pretty much model one for one, you know? Okay, so this is one game where the butterflies don't actually do anything. Because there are no lives. No reason to. I believe we won't get anything new until uh, the next home world. It's okay. Got some goats. And this guy. <laughs> he is a shepherd and he will hit you with his cane. And he will laugh at you for being stupid and not to walk next to him. Now, th that, that old setup may remind you of something. And I believe that's intentional by the developers. Because there were shepherds... There were shepherds in the first Sparrow game in Stone Hill. Uh, well, the uh, the artisan's home, pretty much. I think Toasty had them as well. He's still trying to hit me. Why are you trying to hit me? Strange man. Strange man, why are you trying to hit me? Now he's not trying to hit me. I don't know, maybe he's trying to attack a bee or something, you know? There he there goes again. Uh, in the uh, artisan's home, actually, homeworld levels, uh, they don't have she uh, goats, though. They have rams. Big difference, the curled uh, horns. I mean, they don't look like your typical ram, but that's what they are. Are those goats or billy goats, then? I think goats are usually... Is there actually a difference, I wonder, between billy goats and goats? Because that one was... Th that, those uh, goats were pretty muscular. That raises the platform so we can get over there, but now we have to shoot it down. The platform will go down, I think. Don't attend to its attention. Attention. I suppose I'm trying to avoid killing him because he's he, he's the only shepherd in this entire game. He's a lone shepherd, if you will. Literally. Uh, the goats I'm not sure about. I, I don't know if they come back. I, what's it? What's a shepherd without his uh, fauna? Yeah. Obviously, they're not sheep because we're killing sheep for food, for sparks. Okay, Mr. Shepard, if you don't let me pass, I'm gonna have to kill you. He mocks us too, just like uh, the shepherd from. I believe he laughed at us. His older man is kind of laughed. Like this guy's like in his late forties. The Shepherds and Sparrow One are like ancient, and I just died. He'll come back, or maybe he won't. Does he? Do enemies respawn? <laughs> Everyone wants to know this question. Oh, obviously he does.
Eh, no, the shepherd's gone. I bet that was the way he wanted to go. Basically giving me the finger as I died <laughs> and he died. Oh, you again. So, let's talk about this beautiful level. I, I think, honestly, I'm not gonna lie here. This is probably my favorite Spyro-looking level in... Oh, wrong word. This is probably my favorite-looking level in the entire Spyro series. Uh, it's just got so much going on with it, you know? Really beautiful. And it sets it apart from uh, the previous generation Spyro games, I believe. You would not see something like this in a Spyro 3, you know? It's not possible. You couldn't do this in Spyro 3. There's just too many uh, objects. There's just too many plants. This place has big flowers too, just like Honey Marsh. That's just part of the thing. You have small flowers, big flowers. Pink flowers, blue flowers. That is a bottomless pit, sir. You don't want to fall down. Okay, no, no. No bottomless pits yet. We're getting to that. Keep on hitting something. <laughs> Usually happens. I don't know what this is. I've always looked at this and wondered what the hell. Why is there? Why does this exist? I don't. I don't get it. You know, just just a chasm with water in it. Spyro, these thermals will take you to places where you normally cannot reach. Just step into them and they'll let you go up or something. I don't really care for Trina, so <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read his her messages, but they're called thermals, evidently. Not quite like a geyser, but. Just it's just air. I was gonna say that uh, the game, this game really tricks you with their with long jumps and stuff. That's that's a Spyro thing, you know? Like, every single Spyro game's done that so far, I think. You're Dragon! Of course there's gonna be hard jumps for you to make, you know? End of the Dragonfly stood out more because of, uh... Some reason, I'm sure. I can't think of why. Specifically hit the crack in the wall. Well, I believe there were rocks like that in Bentley's levels from Spiral, Spiral 3. Don't get me started on Bentley yet. Don't get me started.
Other than the fact that I really, I think he's my favorite uh, side character. And another staple, cannons. I can't figure these cannons out either, I guess. Really tricky. I think Jack and Baxter does this too, though, so... Just go with it. It's okay. Just tag along. You really have to just pay attention to where it's shooting. Even then, I can't hit anything. You really don't have to kill these guys, but I want the money. Technically, you should give me bombs. That's actually a thing. You could give me a bomb, you know. You won't, will you? I wasn't paying attention. Did the treasure actually drop from these guys, or do they not give me anything? Hunter, come over here and shoot this damn bird down. Oh, you know what? F*** it. Just forget about it, okay? I'll let you live. Oh, more. What was the bloody point of that if you're just gonna fly out more? I mean, they didn't, they didn't join the other guy, but... Whatever. I'm sorry. I, I gotta kill this. Gotta kill this darn bird. It's, it's bugging me. It's, it's getting on my nerves. If I don't learn how to use the cannon, when will I? Just the height. Accordingly. Not high enough. Look at that spin it puts on it. How? No wonder why I'm not hitting this dang thing. Look at that. It's not even shooting straight. Ah. Finally! And he didn't give me anything. Woohoo! I'm sure I'll edit that in some way that is humorous to you. Yes, we need 70 light gems to open this door to the secret area. It's magic, and you can hear popping noises. Those are enemies. I guess it could be fodder too, though. I think, I think fodder makes the same noise. Music is really good. A tinge of mystery behind it. The feeling you're lost and will never come back to where you once lived, you know? What's going on here? I haven't swum underwater. Thankfully enough, I can do that perfectly fine, Trina. It's, it's so intuitive, I don't need you to tell me. And I can't turn off your stupid hints. 
I'm giving her a lot of crap, but she's not even in the series, but for one game. I mean, really? Uh, whatever. I guess Zoe couldn't do it. I don't know. Uh, you're a calm. Why don't you just let Zoe tell us how to do things, you know? Like she's always done. I, that could have worked, I guess. She could have easily said, Spyro, there's water under up ahead. You might need to dive under. You do this. That's actually so much more interesting of a way to uh, actually tell the player something by introducing it uh, at a... Like, stopping the game, being like... Well, Zoe's kind of air, airy in this game. <laughs> airy? Airheaded? Uh, what's the right word? just kind of too bouncy to say that sort of stuff. She doesn't seem like she would want to tell us anything useful. Well, she already zapped our brain cells, so that's not going to happen anyway. Okay, I can't get to that. Need to get higher. Trying to clear out this dang area before I went on to the Sparks minigame. I guess that won't happen. I think we need to go back uh, to where we can. We must go back to whence, hint, whence, hence we came. What? Hence we came. And then jump higher up to the ledge we were on. Interesting pool of water up here for no reason. I don't think that's going to help me get to this over here, though. Thanks, floating platforms. You did nothing to serve me. Well, you did have treasure on you. Spyro body to reclaim some treasure. I don't... At this point, are the, is the treasure even stolen? Are, are the dragons just putting treasure in random pots and vases and baskets because they forgot where to put stuff? Give it up, Spyro. You'll never fit through that crack in the wall. So you want me to go in there and do it for you? No, not yet. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we could skip that, so yeah. There's that minigame. We'll come back for it. Wouldn't want to stop progress, would we? Okay. Important spot here. If we don't do it now, you'll have to come all the way back around for this one. I try to make a conscious effort not to help anyone in these Let's Plays because uh, that's what the guide is for in this case. Uh, but I have helped... I I'm sure I've helped people normally before in Let's Plays. This is terrible. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause. What the hell just happened? I'm gonna pause and fix that issue. Yes. I'm no longer in a paradise. 
guys now, so I'm carrying the wild. I'm sure that would happen eventually. Revenge, if you will. There's another chest over here. Okay, yeah, just emulator issues. Um, the only way to get these guys is to flame, obviously. There are no cannons. Don't get me wrong, you birds are equally annoying. Problem is, I don't know why it's doing it. Uh, yeah, Hunter was over here, but I'm gonna avoid talking to him right now. Because he didn't help me earlier with those damn birds. Just bang, you know. Killed him. Didn't show it off, but there's also there was also a wall kick surface near the bay area that we didn't really need because we could we just glide. Used the glide, used a uh, a glide to get to it.
Well, Sparrow and I both got distracted by an itch. <laughs> and we we missed the platform, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> there is a, uh, a frame limit button in Dolphin Emulator, but I can't activate it when I'm recording because it doesn't do anything. Frame rates and whatnot. Get too detailed in detail about that. Uh, but that's that's it. We've that was pretty anticlimactic, actually. We finished uh, finished the level with all the dark gems. Uh, I believe we have a few secret areas. We have to come back here. Or is Quite a bit of stuff we haven't got yet, but I'll see you next time with uh, the mini games with Sparks. Don't look too green, buddy. Uh, I'm sure it's not too bad in that cave. You can you can kill him. You can get him. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.